shoot. Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander Tactical. Today we're talking essentials and that comes down to eye protection. Um, whether you're into airsoft, I have never been to an airsoft field where they've not enforced protection uh, for your eyes. I think as a basic standard air protection for your eyes is, is you know, it's, 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 it's the most important thing that you can protect. Um, even real steel, I think the vast majority of ranges, they've all kind of said you really should be wearing eye protection. It's not as enforced as uh, airsoft, but that's mainly because you go to a real steel range and yeah, no one, hopefully no one's going to shoot you, whereas in airsoft it is ever so slightly different. So I thought what I'd look at, or at least we'd look at today, are the Bolle X. Uh, X800s, actually it's the X800 eyes. Um, so I've had these now, I'm trying to think how long I've had these. I've had them for a while and these are possibly the best glasses or the best eye protection, goggles style eye protection that I've used. As far as being a sweaty fat bastard, um, I, pr I pretty much tick a lot of those boxes. So when I'm when I'm when I'm running around a lot, um, yeah, I get a lot of fog on the inside. Now we know there's other solutions out there with your X fog and all of that other stuff. So you know, okay, you can fit in the common oh, you just use this and then you can wear whatever you want. Sometimes it's nice just to have a simple solution that just works, and I've found that these work for me. So I thought it'd be useful if we have take a closer look at these. But then also, so I've got some other things, face masks. Uh, a, a bin lid all that sort of stuff so that we can see exactly how they fit with some other things on as well so yes let's take a closer look at the Bolly x800 eyes so here we have the x800 eyes they arrive in a box which is a pretty nice box but you know i've took that off and i forgot where i put it but they do come with one of these protectors there's a little clip on here so you can put this in your kit bag should you want to uh, but really this is just to make sure that it protects everything on the inside um, it's quite a hard shell material and then in here uh, a little bit of fuzzy felt again just in case you just want to make sure that it doesn't get scratched you also have your instructions in here as well but that's more really to do with the safety standards and all of the things that they've met you then get another it's inside another one of these bags um, pull cord at the top mainly because well you know you just want to look after these so um, inside the bag you do get one of these uh, little packs of sweets now definitely don't eat these packs of sweets make sure you keep it in there so just in case uh, you know it wicks up all of that moisture what i've done as well as is i have a small microfiber cloth i got this from cvv you get these a lot with uh, with knives when you buy them and then here are the glasses or the goggles themselves now I really like the look and feel of these and it's it's mainly it's this gap here uh, and here at the top that, that makes these so special. But just to give you some extra information, so the frame itself, so that is the, the, the part here, uh, the rubbery section on this is made from a TPU material and then on the front there is a harder nylon material. Um, as you'd expect it covers top and bottom here on the sides there are also gaps so that you can have glasses um, if you wear prescription glasses and you can't uh, you need to make sure that you've got them in here then yes they will pass through here also if you did want to go that extra mile and use um, one of those uh, the, the fog blowers the, the, I forget what they call them for a second then uh, then you can also pass your pipes through here as well it'll also it'll just make sure that you don't don't get those um, crimped or pinched against the side of your face. The band on here is a good inch and is that about an inch? It's about an inch and a half. I probably should have measured. Probably about 35 millimeters. Uh, nice. You get an, uh, you get you do get a lot of length with this. You can pull it in nice and tight against your head if you're just wearing these. If you're putting them over a helmet, which we will have a look at, then you can get some extra length on them so that they will fit over a helmet as well. Um, all of the hardware on here, actually I didn't check to think to check that, but uh, nice strong buckles. Uh, does it have they got a maker's name on there? No, I can't see a maker's name, but I think given the fact that these are um, goggles that have been trusted by military, law enforcement, 
a lot of people around the world yeah you know plus also as well so this is part of their platinum range um, so you're getting you're getting the best bits on here then on the front here you have this three millimeter polycarbonate um, lens on the front now these are classed as ballistic goggles so they have been tested um, to the NATO what is it the Stanag um, I think it's Stanag S-T-N-A-G um, requirements as far as impact is concerned they will uh, they will take the impact of a 22 uh, long rifle traveling at 275 meters per second which is the equivalent of just over 900 feet per second if you're using these um, for airsoft you don't need to worry put it that way um, nothing will be traveling that fast hopefully um, on an airsoft field now getting to the main oh actually sorry extra few points so everything can re be replaced with these so here on the side you'll see this little clip uh, you can pull that back and then on the inside here, you'll see that there is an additional little pass-through. So should you want to change your strap, you can pull that off, flip that off, and then you'll be able to take those off. If you need to change the lens on the front, it's a very similar process. So you just have to pull that back to take these uh, each side off. Actually, I think you probably just have to do one side. I've not done it myself. Um, but you can undo that, and then there are two additional clips here. So once the sides are off, this will lift off, and then you can, you can unpull it from there. Um, and I guess if there was some reason that you needed to change um, the, the frame on here as well then and your strap and your goggles are, are fine um, but I think with the price of these they're not particularly expensive I think they're around about 50 50 to 70 pounds um, and yeah I, I, I think for what they are they're, they're definitely well priced now the bit that I was going to get to as far as the reason why I like these is so usually with these kind of things your frame tends to go around the lens itself with these the lens floats on the front of the frame so all the way around here down the nose uh, through the bottom of your eye and then at the top here all the way through here as well uh, you have this gap so what the gap allows is uh, the gap allows as much air to get in there as possible so instead of these um, fogging up and they do have an anti-fog um, covering on the inside instead with the air that's getting through there the water just kind of collects at the bottom and then drips out so I did find that in the corner of my eye I could see that dripping out here in the corners but that's far better than having the fog and just running around and not being able to see at all what I'm doing. I did also notice a little kind of lens, I don't know what you'd call it, lens aberration, whatever it's called. So where some of the water was collecting at the front, obviously it has to run down for it to then to be able to collect here. Now rather than it fogging and then collecting, it almost looked similar to like a shower door when you've got the water on every now and again you'd see a small drop of water just run down there which would then collect and then move away from your eyes but again it's it, it's as i say you know it's, it's similar to looking through a a shower door with water running down it rather than just you know completely fogged out when i use the shower door analogy don't Think that this is just going to be completely running down it's not like that at all you may only see a, a, a few drips every hour or so I mean, I've, I've worn these some of the games last between an hour to an hour and a half and yeah not had any issues with being able to see through them at all now the TPU closure on here is actually really nice it fits my face particularly well um, they are a one size fits all but I think unless you're in the extremes of whether you know you have a large head or a small head um, I have a reasonably large melon and yeah they do fit I will say so just here so at the bottom in this corner here um, where my cheekbones are mainly because you know I probably do need to lose a little bit of weight um, I can just feel it now that's not because it doesn't sit evenly but I think just mainly because when I first put them on, I can just feel it here. 
so it's kind of at the top of my cheekbones uh, on, on the pad there. Now I wouldn't say it's uncomfortable um, just by loosening it ever so slightly and because I've been messing around with these I've been trying to get it back to and I've that, actually I've probably just got it just right there. Shaking my head it's not loose enough that they become loose or you know I have to have to readjust them but they yeah they just sit just right and this pressure or this pinching point here I found you know it's it's fine um, having spent a whole day skirmishing with these I didn't at the end of the day think that these were hot spots but then when I took them off I just noticed that there was a little bit more pressure on those points but I don't know why I'm probably over gilding the lily on this but I think if you have a larger head it's just something to think about but you know it certainly certainly hasn't affected me now probably useful to, to have a look at how these work with other things such as face protection. So this one of these masks is a common piece of face protection. I got this from One Tigress. It fits over the back of your head. Um, it has the material on the sides so when you're when you're taking the cheek I personally I prefer these rather than ones that go all the way around. But when this is on and you are Definitely advise putting your face mask on first and then putting this afterwards with the straps on afterwards just keeps everything in place Actually, just there you go uh, So underneath the cheek here it fits perfectly in there. There is a, an ever such of a slight gap But with just a little bit of readjusting you can close that gap up and you certainly don't have any issues Same again shaking not having any issues with them coming off if I imagine that I'm cheeking rifle Again, it's, it's not pushing up onto this and it still allows this gap underneath here to have all of the air that can come into this. Now next up would be something like wearing a neck gaiter. Here I have a balaclava from NB Tactical which we will be having a look at with one of the ghost masks. So wearing a balaclava with this and then being able to put the glasses on. As you'd expect, you know, these are ballistic glasses, ballistic goggles that are used by armed forces, um, by um, police all around the world, SWAT teams. Designed perfectly for this. They fit really well within. I can even pull this down if I wanted to so that I can then pull it back up and wear it on the outside. Again, it doesn't stop any of the air from being able to get in here. Absolutely no issues shaking my head or having, although I did have to move it then because I, 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 <laughs> I knocked it. Um, but yes, no issues. Now with the NB ghost masks, NB tactical ghost masks, how these fit in, these fit in on the inside there and they're just held in place. So as your nose fits on there, so there you are. Now the, your chin does move down just a little bit, but certainly not an issue. Then bringing the goggles back down. Again, hopefully you'll be able to see that they just fit on perfectly. Having to run around, having to talk, having to shout orders, all of that sort of stuff because the bottom of your chin comes down below uh, where the mask is on the inside. Doesn't affect your glasses being sat on your goggles, being sat on your head. I think this setup looks particularly nice. Last thing really is when it comes to something like a helmet and how they work with that. That's a sexy beard. So with my PTS Flux helmet on, get my beard out of the way because they're really not designed for people with beards. You do have to loosen this a little bit. Now, of course, if you want to, I do believe you can get the extra attachments so that you can have this attached to here, so that you can have the shorter ones. But then if you're wearing Ear Pro, you've got that kind of, which one would you prefer to go with? So putting them on, pulling them back over my helmet. They fit on and as they have been designed to do, so the chin strap goes behind uh, the actual frame of the glasses on both sides, which fits really well, also helps to lock them into place. The top of the glasses fit, the top of the goggles fit perfectly in line with the top of the helmet. And then again, you know, certainly no issues. Shake, well, actually, maybe a little bit more so with this, mainly because um, 
I wouldn't say that they're anchored onto the helmet, but you certainly feel a little bit more of the helmet jostle because the chin strap um, does kind of move them around slightly, but again, I, I wouldn't say it's, it's enough to make me not want to wear these. Now what I found with Bolly Eye Protection, whether you're going for the smaller discrete ones, um, I find with these that they don't let enough air in when I'm doing a lot of aerobic activity, or whether you're going for the more fuller goggles which do allow more air in. I've generally found that you can't beat um, Bolly glasses, Bolly goggles, although I really do want to test out. So let's hear below. I have seen a lot of people talking about the Wiley X versions. Um, if you have some recommendations, I'd certainly love to hear which Wiley X versions that you would wear instead of these. Keeping in mind that I'm a sweaty, fat mother trucker and like to have as much air in as possible. But yes, as far as skirmishing with these on a field, they have kept my eyes nice and clear all day. Um, at lunchtime, just giving them a quick wipe down with a microfiber cloth, and that's not to stop them from fogging, that's just because some of that sweat does pool on the underside here. Um, when I've been playing, just you know, rubbing it with your, with your glove helps to remove that. It's not in the way though, it's just at the bottom here and sometimes you can see it. If you can put up with that, then that's fine. I certainly did all day. Um, but at the end, or at least at lunchtime, wipe the sweat off from the bottom. As soon as I finish, wipe the sweat from the bottom, put everything back in the bag to keep them nice and safe. But yes, highly recommended. If you're thinking of picking these up, I. Well, yeah, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't recommend them more. If you own a pair of these, let's hear in the comments down below as well. Uh, do you, um, do you concur with my summation of these being uh, well, or have you struggled with certain things with these? Um, it's great so that we can hear as much kind of talk around these as possible. So yes, let's hear it below as well. Um, and yes, I will leave some links for these below so that you can see where you can pick some of these up. I'll leave some of my social media links as well. But for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay tactical. I do like these though. That didn't work very well, did it? You're an idiot. Damn it, Moorlander, you're an idiot. I think they go. Really well with this hat. This is the UF Pro Boonie Boot Boots Boonie Strike Boonie. Oh, I forgot what it is. Tell you what, I'll leave a link here. So if you want to see more from this, uh, I did a review of this on my other channel, and yeah, I love this awesome hat. So there you go. Happy Friday. I forgot what day it is for a second then. I'm off all next week, I'm going on holiday to North Wales, the land of my father. Uh, so there you go. Have a, have a great weekend. Okay, you can go now. Right, bye.